Hello, I'm Dr. Clint Sexton, and today I want to talk about the coronavirus, but from a different perspective than what we've all been hearing about. So I'm looking at it more from the perspective of what you can do to help support your immune system in the event that you do encounter and become infected with the virus. Uh, we're all aware of the other precautionary measures to take to avoid contact with the virus. However, um, even taking all those steps, you may uh, ultimately end up uh, contracting the virus. And so I want to talk about what you can do to uh, help your body uh, to deal with this. So we do know that the virus seems to affect people more severely, those that um, are the elderly, as well as those that have chronic health conditions or um, that are immunocompromised. So this brings us to the importance of our gut and the digestive system. Because most of, most of your immune system is located in and around your digestive system. They've also noted that one of the um, symptoms um, that's not really being caught regarding uh, the coronavirus is that the individual may present with digestive symptoms first, such as diarrhea, uh, nausea, lack of appetite, etc. So uh, that can be an early indication of how the virus presents itself. So we know it can affect the digestive system as well as the rest of the uh, respiratory system. So again, this takes us back to the environment of the gut. And the things you want to do are help support the gut so that you can actually help support your immune system. Because your immune system is ultimately your, your best and really your only defense against the virus. Because uh, that's all that would end up ultimately conquering it in your body. So that's the system we want to focus on. So within the gut, the things that you can do to help uh, unburden the immune system, we'd be looking at diet. And if you're able to avoid food sensitivities or food allergies, that's removing a burden on the immune system. So the immune system can focus on the virus instead of focusing on uh, attacking the food that you're eating. Other things would be working on things that would help uh, heal a, a leaky gut. Um, if you're dealing with a condition called SIBO, uh, working with that in terms of uh, lowering the, the bacteria and or yeast that are in the small intestine because that puts another burden on, on the immune system. Uh, reducing your stress is another factor. Um, stress itself actually suppresses the immune system. It can also stimulate our adrenal glands and uh, excess cortisol is detrimental to the lining of the gut uh, and, le and can lead to uh, a leaky gut situation, but it also suppresses the immune system. You wanna make sure that your uh, thyroid medication, if you're taking it, is optimized. And then you wanna just ultimately deal with your basic nutrients. I'm just gonna talk about the basic fundamental nutrients that can help the immune system. So you have things like vitamin D, vitamin A, zinc, uh, vitamin C, and uh, also the, uh, the amino acid uh, L-lysine has antiviral properties. And then probably one of the most important things you can do is make sure you're getting enough rest. If you're feeling run down, if you're feeling stressed by all this, if you need to take additional naps, uh, as well as making sure that you're doing your best to get a good night's sleep, that can have a tremendous impact on how your immune system uh, is going to function. And in the event that you do become ill, just getting all the sleep you can is tremendously important. So, this is the approach we're looking at this from a functional medicine perspective. Uh, traditional medicine is, is focused on just avoiding contact with the virus, which we, you know, we can work with that the best we can, but many, many, many people are still going to get the virus anyway. So we're looking at this from a point of prevention um, so that if you do contract the virus, you have a much better chance uh, of recovering from it without any severe ill effects. I hope you found this uh, useful. If you'd like some more information on some of these other topics I talked about, like leaky gut, and SIBO, and foods such as that, there's many other um, uh, blogs that cover these topics. I hope you find this useful, and stay well. Thank you.